It's locked inside of a Butler County evidence room tonight. We're not able to get our hands on that tape just yet because the county says it needs a judge's signature before it's released to us. And we're working on getting that signature tonight. What the video shows is a deputy parked along B Street in Hamilton. He was there to back up another officer who had just radioed in for help, claiming he had a suspect fighting him. But that video, we're told, was stored in a deputy's basement for more than a year, never logged in as evidence. And when that video was uncovered at trial, we're told it was edited, parts of it deleted, before it made it to court. So I pull out, heading southbound on 128 here, get over into this turn lane to make a legal U-turn. I get stopped here at the light and notice that uh, there's a Butler County Sheriff right behind me. Kevin Gray says he was doing a friend a favor, woke at 2 in the morning to give Chris Ebbing a ride home from a bar. As they passed through this intersection, they met Deputy Jason Hatfield. So I took the seatbelt off and I was actually leaned over looking and my door opened. Walks up opens my passenger side of the vehicle and asks for my passenger's ID. Give me your ID. I haven't done anything. What's the charge? He says you're not wearing your seatbelt. That's when the men say Deputy Hatfield created a string of lies that ended with them sitting in jail, facing felony charges. He jerks me out of the car. I'm down on the car like this. He's on my back now. My feet are still in the car. Ebbing was charged with obstruction and resisting arrest. Was Chris ever fighting? With Chris was never fighting whatsoever. That's something both men say never happened. Ebbing says he knew Hatfield was up to something when the deputy, while kneeling on Ebbing's back, radioed for help. He, he was breathing heavy. You know, it was seconds. It was, he literally pulled me out of the car and he, he I, got, I got one fighting. You know, that's what it sounded like. I just, I was in amazement. I was like, what is happening right now? What, what is going on? As soon as the men got out of jail, they asked the sheriff's office for dash camera recordings of that night. In multiple letters, the Butler County Sheriff told the men there was no video recorded from the stop. But during Kevin Gray's trial, Butler County Deputy Mike Brockman brought in a dash cam video. It was from the night of the arrest. Neither Gray nor Ebbing's attorneys ever knew it existed. And each time that we made the request, we were told that it didn't exist. You were under the impression video did not exist. That is correct. Trial transcripts show Sheriff's Corporal Mike Brockman had the dash camera video the entire time. It was, Gray says, in Brockman's basement and never logged into evidence. What do you believe the incentive would have been for a deputy who had that evidence to not turn that evidence in? After seeing the, the actual videotape played in court and noticing that six and a half minutes was just disappeared, was deleted um, from the videotape, um, then, you know, it was a little easier to speculate as to why that wasn't produced. Uh, there was something probably on that videotape that the deputies did not want discovered. Gray filed suit in October, accusing the sheriff's office of false arrest, accused the sheriff of a widespread policy, practice, or custom of allowing unlawful searches, seizures, arrests, detentions, and misconduct, and doing nothing to stop it. The suit also states Hatfield and Brockman willfully destroyed and or conspired with one another to destroy the dash camera video. Do you believe he lied to the court, he lied to the sheriff's office, lied to you and lied to that jury during your prosecution? Absolutely, 100%. The entire incident that night was completely caused and fabricated by Deputy Hatfield. Now, Corporal Brockman's personnel file shows that he was disciplined, written up for not logging that videotape into evidence, but Deputy Hats Hatfield's file shows he was not disciplined in connection with this videotape, but that's not the end of the story for Deputy Jason Hatfield. Have you done law enforcement honestly in this county? No comment, sir.
The county prosecutor wanted Deputy Jason Hatfield investigated, accusing him of multiple crimes, but Hatfield's fighting back against the prosecutor. He started that fight by suing his accuser. You'll hear from Hatfield in our efforts to have Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones participate in this report. That's coming up at 1030. Live from the Butler County Sheriff's Office, Jody Barr, Fox 19 Now.